What's up all my Yorkshire's droids and Wookiees, it's Anna, also knows that Star Wars girl, and I know I just did a video about the whole Superman situation, but more has come out since I filmed that, which incidentally was like 10 minutes ago, uh, even though this video will probably come out an hour or so after. But anyways, so this guy again is the, the writer for the new Superman comic, and so he did this little interview over on CNN. Now, I'll be completely transparent, I have absolutely no interest in politics. I do not watch CNN. I do not watch any of the big news channels. If I want to find out about a news story, I will go and do the research myself. So, uh, I don't really... I hadn't really witnessed firsthand the way that they cherry pick information uh, until today, especially with this, which I thought was, you know, very... <laughs> Very, uh, you know, basically a load of crap, like I say in my tweet. But so for those of you, if you missed my last video, the link for it is in the description of this video. But, uh, basically what happened was this dude decided to turn Superman gay and make him do this. And this is the big thing that all of the Wokies are, like, praising. Like, yes! Hashtag Slay Queen! Uh, because he made Superman gay. Or, I should say, bi right? But uh, just just to clarify, though, because the way that they are talking about this is as if this is Clark Kent. This is not Clark Kent. This is Clark Kent's son, Jonathan Kent, okay? But the way that they talk about it, even though they know that this is Jonathan Kent, they talk about it as if he is Clark Kent or Kal-El, and then they laugh at people that uh, aren't reading these comics that are just reacting to this information like a lot of normies would, because that's exactly why they do these kind of things, is to get an instant reaction, to have their five minutes of fame, so that way people the, will talk about it, so people will buy their books. So they purposely do this to, you know, you know confuse normies. And then they're like, ah, oh, look at you, you're so stupid. It's like, well, you're not introducing this as Clark or as Jonathan Kent. The way that you're doing it is trying to manipulate people into thinking that it's Clark Kent. And yeah, people are like, well, isn't Clark Kent like in love with Lois Lane? And you know, aren't they married? Didn't you guys do that? So why did all of a sudden you make him gay? And they're like, ha ha, this isn't Clark Kent. You're stupid. Ha ha ha. But so, and that's kind of what my tweet is calling out. So I'm going to play you guys this clip. And remember, this is the guy that's writing Superman talking, and uh, this apparently is some newscaster whose name I oh I guess I I guess this is the guy, but uh, I I have no idea who he is. Uh, apparently, he must be pretty popular. He's got a hundred and forty nine followers or thousand followers on uh, on the Twitters. No idea who this guy is. I've never seen him before in my life. But uh, let's check out this clip. He is going to be. I promise he will punch a robot. That's just a guaranteed. He will come up against Lex Luthor in our upcoming annual. Um, all those things are part and parcel of Superman, and this is just something extra that that very important symbol can now represent. Yeah. And I have to say, having seen the reaction today, having seen online what it's meant to people, I've, I've seen so many messages from all over the world in so many different languages, people saying that they saw this news and burst into tears, people saying that they never thought that they would be able to see themselves mm. in Superman that they wish other people who, older people, older queer people who've said they wish they had this growing up and they're so happy that younger people or people who haven't come out yet have this today. Um, it's wonderful that you're getting that reaction. There's also some of the other type of reaction, particularly here in the US, political reaction, because everything's gotta be political now, including Superman, apparently. This is from Wendy Rogers, who's a state legislature legislator in Arizona who wrote, Superman loves Lewis Lane, she writes, period. Hollywood is trying to make Superman gay, and he's not. I cannot stress the level of ignorance in this tweet, first of all, because she spells Lois Lane Lewis to begin with, A. And B, <laughs> she says that Superman loves Lewis Lane. I mean, Lois Lane's his mom. How depraved is this Wendy Rogers from Arizona? <laughs> Right. Uh, look, I think I kind of I don't I don't know whether it's just being Australian, but I actually read that as Louis Lane, and I just hope whoever Louis is, I hope he's a wonderful man, and they're very happy together. <laughs> um, look, it is. It's we're going to get some backlash for this, but the key for me isn't the people that are upset. It's for the people that are welcomed in by this. That say today, you know, the, this is more powerful than a locomotive. That this is literally the most powerful superhero in comics 
and one of the best known all around the world is now bisexual. And I think that's a really big and really strong statement. All right. So after watching that, it compelled me to make this tweet, which is in which I say, uh, so one tweet from one random person they purposely picked out because it had a typo and the wrong information uh, automatically makes this political. No, that's bullshit and a pathetic cop-out. Changing the sexuality was political, not the people's response, right? And I added a few words in there. But that this guy, the, the John dude, the, 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 the newscaster guy from, I guess, CNN, he literally goes out of his way. They literally went and found this tweet. I Again, I had, I don't know who Wendy Rogers is either, but it's okay. They're making fun of her because she has a typo. Uh, they're, they're making fun of her because she thinks that this is Clark Kent, not Jonathan Kent. It's like I said in the beginning of this video. They do this to get normies attention and normies respond and then they make fun of them and you know are condescending assholes about it it's like dude if you didn't want people to get confused about the different supermans maybe you shouldn't market it like it's clark fucking kent and then you know you, you make fun of the people that got it wrong if it was the opposite way they'd be clutching their pearls and be like they're attacking me they're bullying me twitter Twitter, come block them and perma-ban them. They got my pronouns wrong. Hey! But so, I just think that this is so disingenuous. And it's such fucking bullshit, man. And, I mean, they're just sitting there laughing about it. These are two full-grown adults that know exactly what they're doing. And they're literally cherry-picking information to making something political. When, as a matter of fact... This dude right here is the one that made it political. He literally changed an already established character's sexual orientation to push a political agenda. Uh, and if he doesn't want to say that he didn't do it to push a political agenda, well, then he did it in a way to, you know, get eyes on it. He had an agenda behind doing what he did, and he did it on purpose. Right? This wasn't the natural evolution of the character. This was a planned strategic move by this guy and I'm sure other people at DC Comics. But this just reminded me, this is why I don't watch the news. This is why if I want to find something out, I'll go and do the research myself. Because and it, it doesn't matter what side of the fence you're on. It, they, it, every single side of the fence does it. Do your own research. I cannot stress that enough. But this kind of thing reminds me why I don't watch it. This kind of thing reminds me why I don't like smug, pompous celebrities. And it's just... If you want to do a political statement and, you know, do put something like that in your comic book, and then you want to laugh at people and be like, oh, well, they're the ones that are making it political. It's like, no, man, that's fucking bullshit. You're the one that did this, and then you're trying to blame the people's response because you did something. It's like you were playing baseball in the front yard, you broke the window, and then you're mad at the parents because the parents are like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? You just broke the window. You need to pay for that. Like, <laughs> and they're like, haha, look at that. Mom or dad getting all upset because I broke the window. Wow. Stop being political. Stop clutching your pearls. It's like, no, no, man, that's not how this works. But I mean, that uh, they live in some weird twisted universe where they think that this stuff, it, that, that that's how it works. It just... It kind of blows my mind, and this just reminds me why I stay in my hobbit hole and, you know, try to just stay away from other humans, because I don't, I don't have the patience to deal with this kind of bullshit. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to, to share my pain with you guys, because I was like, I had to fucking watch it, so now you guys had to watch it. But uh, guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. I know I just did a video about the, the Superman thing, but I saw this, like, while, you know, right after I was editing and I was like, are you fucking serious? And I just, I, I wanted to talk about it because I'm just like, oh my god. I can't be the only one that sees this, right? Like, <laughs> please, uh, you know, restore my faith in humanity a little bit. I, I don't want to, you know, be the only sane person out there because I'm a pretty crazy person myself. But anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go and smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay, too. Thank you so much for watching this part through. If you haven't already, maybe smash the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. It'd be really awesome of you. If you guys want to see my content, make sure that that bell is rung and set to all or else you won't get notifications. And until next time, everyone, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever in the world you are.
And may the force be with you, because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Once again, thank you so much, everyone, for watching my channel and my content. And if you would like to support me further, go ahead and check out my Etsy, The Art of Anna TSWG, where I sell prints of my original oil paintings and drawings. I have a variety of characters from landscapes to horror villains to Star Wars characters, DC and Marvel. So go check that out, and everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you.